<laughs> 10 minutes into the walk, got to the summit of Mamtor, first time. Awesome views. I thought I'd be clever this morning and get to the Mamtor car park really early and hope that Mamtor will be very quiet. Set off about quarter to eight-ish, got to the car park about quarter past eight to find that uh, I nabbed the penultimate spot. And it's uh, very busy on the summit here, even though it's very cloudy. As I say in my other videos, whatever the weather, when you're outdoors, the weather's awesome. So, just gonna walk along the ridge line now to Collins Cross, which I've never been to before either. And that is apparently some beautiful views from there, should the cloud lift. And then perhaps as far as Black Tour today, and then walk around and probably get a nice cup of tea at the tea wagon that's at the uh, Mamtor car park. I despise barbed wire. Just approaching Hollins Cross and checking out these awesome views. As I'm walking along the path from Hollins Cross to Black Tor and Loose Hill, going past these little, what do they call, pebble statues, stone things. Um, <laughs> before I release the video, I'll check on YouTube and find out what they're supposed to be called. The mist, the clag, cloud, whatever we're supposed to call it in the Peak District, and I, I will. Oh look, there's another one of those little stone statue things. There's loads of them here. Anyway, clouds are still covering where I am. I think I'm about 470 metres at the moment. It's lovely. Being enveloped. In the background you can hear other people walking. I don't know if the microphone's picking it up, you can hear birds twittering and sheep barring. And you can also hear motorbikes screaming up and down the road. I love my bracer boots. They're well made, they're leather, with a decent rand around them, and the eyelets are really good and flexible. Vibram soles as well. I think they're about 150 RRP on blacks. Of course, bracer boots today are uh, they follow the principles of the original walking boots that uh, Chris Brasher developed, what, 30 years ago? <clears throat> I remember during the, uh, the late 80s and 90s, I had those Brasher boots and then they went out of production, I think, for a while, as uh, Berghaus, or was it JD Sports is the brand, or Pentland, consolidated their brands. But when I returned to fell walking a couple of years ago, 
I was um, happy to see that the Brazier brand was back. So yes, they're not uh, they're not the boots that were originally made in a cottage industry in a factory in Keswick. Was it Keswick or Kendall? Anyway, but they follow the same principles and the same ethos in terms of lightweight, and you no need to break them in. So uh, yeah, the Brazier. I think they're called the Country Master brand. I will uh, pop it on the screen exactly what the brand is, and it'll also be in the notes below the sort of boots I wear. Um, yeah, they come highly recommended by myself. So here we are, another video of me puffing and panting as I'm just getting to the summit of Loose Hill, which is 476 meters. The, uh, the visibility is uh, reducing as uh, as we descend. So uh, here's hoping that it's what, reduced to virtually zero, because that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? As it is, it's about, what, 20 meters, so I can just about see. There's a cairn and there's a star in front of me. Blooming good day so far. The fence post has collapsed, which uh, perhaps means that the arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. Hey, who cares? Let's just walk. Bit of Kendall mint cake. Chocolate covered, of course. I think I've earned this. Mmm, absolutely lovely. That Kendall Mint cake was yummy. And uh, of course, being full of sugar, full of glucose, it's giving me a bit of a boost. So I'm, uh, I've got a speed in my step now. Returning to the Mantor car park, not the same way I came. Instead, following a path that sort of loops to the south, it's a bit lower. And I think so far it appears to be an excellent choice because the main route through Mam Tor, Black Tor, Loose Hill, etc., very busy. This path, nice and quiet. The sun is uh, starting to burn off the cloud. So the views are opening up. However, I'm not going back up to the summit of Mantor. Um, I can't be asked at this stage. I want to get back to my car and then go to the, um, the tea wagon and have a nice cup of tea. I've changed my mind. I'm allowed to. It's my channel, I can do what I want. Um, because the clouds lifted, I thought I'd get back up and just going up to Hollings Cross now and then back over to Mantor because the views with the cloud lifting are spectacular. It's as almost I'm in a completely different place. Now the clouds lifting. We're back to Holland's Cross, which, if you can remember, early this morning, we got to the Cordon flag. You barely see anything, but uh, wow! That. Edel's down there somewhere. Where I was yesterday morning. 
It's really busy today here at Mam Tor, which is awesome because it means lots of people enjoying the great outdoors. Oh, I'm struggling to think of some words of wisdom in my final piece of camera. It's been an awesome day. I'm knackered. Well, not day, morning. And uh, some awesome views in the clag. No, it was awesome walking the clag, enveloped by the clag. It was great this morning up at the top of Mam Tor, which is just up there. Thank you very much, camera operator, for panning round. And uh, I'm glad we chose to uh, to walk back and take in some of the views rather than just go straight down into the into the valley. So my last piece of camera for the day and for the walk. Just want to say thank you very much for uh, making it this far and watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching it just as much as I've enjoyed doing this walk as I uh, as I explore the Peak District with my son and camera operator Matthew. And um, it's very different today than it was from last week, which hopefully the uh, the video you would have already watched by now and liked, and subscribed, etc. Where there was uh, it was extremely cold, snow, ice, chilly winds. It was still an awesome day. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and un until next time. Hmm, needs to think of something profound some profound way of ending the video don't I but I'm just rambling and rabbiting on now so uh, I'll shut up and wish you well I'm glad I got here nice and early car park and all the virtues are very very full now.